Mark Zuckerberg offered an AI expert a $100 million signing bonus, while on the same day, Microsoft laid off thousands of software engineers. But the truth behind this contradiction shows that the biggest transformation in the tech world is just beginning. Welcome back to AI Handbook Channel, where I expose the revolutionary changes happening in artificial intelligence every single day. By the end of this video, you will understand why the AI talent war isn't just changing Silicon Valley, it's rewriting the rules of who gets to build the future, and more importantly, who gets left behind. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, dropped a bombshell revelation that sent shockwaves through Silicon Valley. In a candid podcast interview, he revealed that Meta had been making giant offers to his team. And we're not talking about typical tech salaries here. We're talking about $100 million signing bonuses. That's more money than most companies are worth. To put this in perspective, that's enough to buy 200 Tesla Model S cars or fund an entire startup for years. But here's what makes this even shocking. While Meta is throwing around these astronomical figures, Microsoft just announced that AI now writes 30% of their code. And in the same breath, they laid off 6,000 employees, with 40% of them being software engineers. The math is brutal, and it's simple. AI is replacing human coders, while the humans who build AI are becoming more valuable than professional athletes. Yet this paradox reveals something much deeper about what's really happening in the tech world, and why understanding this could save your career. Here's where the story gets really interesting. While everyone's talking about Meta's massive offers, there's a company quietly winning the talent war without throwing around $100 million checks. Anthropic, the AI startup founded by former OpenAI researchers, boasts an 80% retention rate. That's practically unheard of in Silicon Valley, where job hopping is the norm. Compare that to Meta's 64% retention rate and you start to see that money isn't everything. The data tells an even more fascinating story. Engineers are eight times more likely to leave OpenAI for Anthropic than the reverse. From Google's DeepMind, that ratio jumps to nearly 11 to one in Anthropic's favor. What's Anthropic doing that a trillion dollar company like Meta can't replicate with all its money? The answer reveals the real battle being fought in Silicon Valley, and it's not just about paychecks. But there's another side to this war that nobody's talking about, and it's creating a crisis that could affect millions of programmers worldwide. While AI superstars are getting paid like tech royalty, there's a devastating trend happening to regular software engineers. The middle class of coders is being squeezed out of existence. Here are the brutal facts. Since January 2025, over 22,000 tech workers have been laid off. But it's not random, there's a clear pattern. Junior developer hiring has collapsed by 50% since 2019. Among big tech companies, new graduates now account for just 7% of hires, down from 25% in 2023. Microsoft's approach is particularly telling. CEO Satya Nadella proudly announced that AI generates 30% of their code, while simultaneously their TO, Kevin Scott, predicts this could reach 95% by 2030. Meanwhile, 40% of their recent layoffs targeted software engineers. The message is clear. If you're a mid-level programmer doing routine coding work, you're in the danger zone. Companies are realizing they can replace these roles with AI tools and redirect that salary budget to hire the AI experts who build these tools. This isn't just a temporary adjustment. It's a fundamental restructuring of who gets to work in tech. But there's something even more significant happening behind these headlines. Sam Altman didn't just reveal Meta's offers. He also shared his philosophy on why his people aren't taking them. His response reveals a deeper battle between two very different approaches to building AI companies. I think people look at the two paths and they say OpenAI's got a really good shot, a much better shot on actually delivering on super intelligence, Altman explained. He believes his employees stay because of OpenAI's really special culture and their mission to create artificial superintelligence. But Altman went further, calling some departing employees mercenaries while describing his remaining team 
as missionaries. His internal memo to staff doubled down, missionaries will beat mercenaries. This isn't just corporate PR speak. It reveals two fundamentally different strategies for winning the AI race. Meta's betting that massive financial incentives will attract the best talent. OpenAI is betting that mission and culture will keep their people motivated to build something historic. The question is, which approach actually works? And the answer might surprise you, because there's data that shows the real winner in this war. Here's the plot twist nobody saw coming. While Meta and OpenAI are locked in their public battle, Anthropic is quietly winning the actual talent war. Their 80% retention rate isn't just impressive, it's strategic dominance. In an industry where losing a key researcher can set you back months and millions of dollars, keeping talent consistently is a game changer. But Anthropic's success reveals something crucial about what top AI talent actually values. It's not just about the money. It's about autonomy, intellectual freedom, and the belief that you're working on something that will genuinely advance AI safety and capability. Employees describe Anthropic as embracing unconventional thinkers and giving people true autonomy to drive impact. No corporate bureaucracy, no forced management tracks, just clear paths for career growth and the freedom to do breakthrough research. This approach is paying off in ways that go beyond retention. Claude, Anthropic's AI assistant, is quickly becoming a developer favorite, which creates a virtuous cycle. Engineers want to work at companies whose products they admire and use. Yet even as we see who's winning today's battle, the real question is what this means for the future of work itself. By 2030, the predictions are staggering. Kevin Scott from Microsoft believes AI will write 95% of code. Mark Zuckerberg thinks half of software development will be done by AI within the next year. Andy Jazzy from Amazon admits they'll need fewer people doing some of the jobs that are being done today. But here's what these leaders aren't saying. This transformation is creating two completely different tech economies. Economy one, elite AI researchers, safety experts, and system architects who can work with and guide AI systems. These professionals will command salaries that make today's $100 million offers look reasonable. Economy two, everyone else. Traditional programmers, mid-level engineers, and junior developers who are competing with AI systems that work 24-7, never take sick days, and cost pennies compared to human salaries. The companies making moves today, whether it's Meta's aggressive recruiting, OpenAI's culture-first approach, or Anthropic's research-focused strategy, they're all preparing for a world where human expertise in AI becomes the most valuable skill on Earth. The question isn't whether this transformation will happen. It's already happening. The question is, which side of this new economy will you be on? The AI talent war we're witnessing isn't just about company rivalries or massive signing bonuses. It's a preview of the future of work itself. While companies battle for the few hundred AI experts who can shape the next decade of technology, millions of other tech workers are being forced to adapt or get left behind. The winners in this new economy won't just be those with the biggest paychecks. They'll be those who understand how to work alongside AI, how to guide it, and how to solve problems that AI can't handle alone. If you're working in tech today, your next career move might be the most important decision you'll ever make. The companies fighting this talent war today will be the ones defining what skills matter tomorrow. What do you think? Are we watching the birth of a new tech aristocracy? Or is this transformation creating opportunities we haven't even imagined yet? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to stay ahead of these changes as they happen, subscribe to AI Handbook. We're tracking every move in this talent war and what it means for your future in tech. The war for AI talent is just beginning. Make sure you're on the winning side.